Hello everybody. There were some questions how to build an electrical torpedo. So I will give a little demonstration the way how I do it. It starts with the aluminium tube. I'll take it out. Release the cap. This is the tubes I use. To get at the right dimension I'll take one of my examples. This is a finished one. You have to cut it to a certain size. I do this on the left A, so you certainly do have to need some device like that. When you've done that, you get this tube, but without the, end, the round end cap. And for this, I use a bigger size of cigar tube and cut the round end cap off. You will glue this on this part like this. And there you have your round tip. And now the part where people ask the most questions from. These are the e-motors I use. Little ones, 1.2 volts, uh, about 10,000 revs. These are the, are the batteries, they're going inside. And the most important part of a torpedo is this one. It's the magnetic switch you use. I hope you can get it right in view. Oh, it goes down. Never mind, I found it later. These are the propellers I use. Three blades with a nice pitch. And this is the end cap for sealing off the shaft. Inside there's a little o-ring. I'll show that. Try to get it out. There it goes. You see, inside there's a little o-ring that will seal off the shaft. If I take all components on a row, it will be something like this. A kind of exploded view of an electric torpedo. You have to count two for these because uh, you want to have more tension or more overpower on your e-motor. It will be something like this. And now, for the real thing, some people were asking how everything works. So, this is the back end of a torpedo. You see a little propeller. I hope I can show that. You can see the O-ring over here that seals off the shaft. The E-motor. A little connector for the battery pack. And this is the battery pack. Batteries two times. Inside over here is the magnetic switch. And this is the other part of this connector. So once connected together, it will run. Soup inside. The only trick you have to account for is when you're building your torpedo you have to balance it like a sap and from experience I'll make an example of that normally it will lie straight in the water like this I'll press it in like this when you don't balance your torpedo it will go and the water and will stick into the bottom. What you do want to do 
is to balance it in such a way that the tip of the torpedo will stay just beneath the surface. So I added some little rings of lead over here. So now my torpedoes are balanced like this. It will cost you some speed, but in uh, all the cases uh, you won't lose your torpedo. In every case the, the, the tip of the torpedo will be above on the surface. So that's the trick. If there are more questions, just ask.